In Baguio, my first time here in Baguio, Ow. and today we are gonna be going boating. We're gonna be horseback riding. Before we can actually go to our room here in the hotel, we still have to wait. So that's why we can go boating. We can go to the, to the bookstore, and we can go to the park. But I will see you guys when we go boating, and it's gonna be the best time ever. Mommy, can I go then? Say hi, say hi, hi. Oh, say hi to the video ni ate. What can you say about Baguio? Mountain. Mountain. You're on top of the mountain. What else? So this is when we went boating. We took a swan boat and it made the experience nice because it was my time to go boating on the river. It was a nice escape from going to school. And it was a very tiring experience as well because I had to pedal it on metal bars. Those are not my regular bike pedals and I am not used to it. But I have enjoyed it and it was a great experience. Jovic was also there too and he liked the atmosphere of it with many trees around it. He liked how it was a good weather as well. And so it was making the experience good. At least he wasn't crying. And it was also a time that I knew how to brake and how to go stopping because sometimes there's also other boats and I may crash into them. And it also was good because it was a nice time to go in nature, even though that the sun was not there. And as you can see, I am very, very crampy. And I am not usually in the mood for doing very tiring things on a very, very sunny afternoon. But as you know, it was a great time. So I said, go figure. So that's why. But now, since we keep on pedaling, I was tired. But I got the motivation because it was a very nice experience. It was a good time and it was good use of effort. Now, enough speaking of that, now it's time to talk about how it was. It was very good. And we saw a lot of people there and I hope they had a great time too. As you can see, they're all swan boats and most of them have the signs, but we chose the swan boat because why not using nature's animals? And the clouds were very good. If you don't mind taking a break, sure, why not? But now this is a time that you see the sun is very much up. And that's all.
a fun fact about me is that I'm a bookworm. And that's why we're here at Mount Cloud Bookshop to find a book for me. Because I, the books that I have at home, I'm all done reading them. So I want to get a new book to read. And it makes my trip from going home from Baguio. Coming home. So like from here, Baguio, going back home, I can read it. And if I'm done already, what will I do? So this is when we went horseback riding. It was a great experience. We went on a mountain path with many ups and downs, and it was very scary and tragic. But it was also a good experience. It was my first time to ride the horse, and it was a nice experience. It was great because it was in Baguio, where it was very cold and it was good for the weather. The, the trees there were also nice, and they were just good to match with the weather. I did get the hang of riding the horse, only when it was flat. I should have worked on that last time. But we also met a girl, and she was riding on her own. And I said to myself, why not we try that next time? And so I was curious. I was looking forward for my next time. But when I did come on the horse on the next visit, I wished that there would have been someone helping me. So I did not go by myself. But then, in the end, time does take time. It takes a lot of practice, but you also enjoy the experience. In life, you lose one thing, but you win another. And it was a great learning from that experience. It was a great time and it t taught me a lot of values. It also made me get the hang of stepping in puddles. I did realize that if you were in something else, it would have been a rare chance to go on the t-shirt. But that's all.
Wait lang, wait lang. Why do you think I'm still to be